Hey guys, even here, the British Grand Prix is over and the winner is of course Nathan Diash. Nathan was of course the favorite to win it and by winning this show he qualified for the Mr. Olympia. Everybody expected this to happen, it was pretty obvious and it happened, of course, Nathan won it. The second place, the second place was a very, very good Samson Dauda, if that's how you pronounce his name. He looked really good and it was very close, I think, between them. Not too very, very close, I think it was obvious that Nathan is going to win it, but Samson did very well. Third place, third place was James Hollingshead. He took third, beating Milan Sadek. And Milan Sadek was third at the New York Pro, while James was, I think, eighth or something like that, if I remember correctly. And now James beat him. James won. So James is making progress, and I'm looking forward to seeing James next year. So that's it. That's your top four. And yeah, fifth place was Luke Swiler. So it was a pretty good show, a very good lineup. We had Nathan, who is qualified for the Mr. Olympia now, and he brought, I think, one of his best packages ever. He was bigger than ever, fuller than ever, and more defined than ever. I really like Nathan. I really like what I saw. And I think I like what James brought. I think James brought something special. I think this time he looked the best that he ever has. The combination of his fullness and conditioning was spot on. The thing is... I think he decided not to compete anymore, and then later he decided to jump back in. And for that time period, when he wasn't sure if he's going to compete or not, he probably relaxed a little. His cortisol levels went down, and when that happens, when stress is low, your body responds better. And I think he refreshed his body pretty much and came a little bit better this time around. Luke Sando actually did show up, but not to compete, to present the awards. So you can see him here holding the hand of Nathan Diasha and uh, James Hollingshead. And Nathan said some bad things about uh, Luke uh, at the press conference before British Grand Prix. I'm not sure about uh, the details. I don't really know what he said. I can't even understand his Liverpool accent. But I think it was something bad, some kind of bashing. So I'm pretty sure Luke is not feeling very comfortable holding Nathan's hand here and probably giving him the medal and the trophy or whatever, the sword, actually. Uh, you can also see a uh, train by JP or Jordan Peters on the left. He's looking huge. He's looking humongous. He's very big for his height. Um, I think these guys will compete very soon. Uh, Nathan will compete at the Mr. Olympia, hopefully, if uh, he can actually cross the border. Then you have uh, Luke Sando, who will probably show up. He's qualified with the points, probably. And uh, trained by JP or Jordan Peters, I think he will also compete very soon. I'm not sure which show, but he's not even a pro. He wants to turn pro, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. It's all about British Grand Prix. Actually, it's probably not all. I'll probably upload another video when I have some video footage. Right now, I only have these photos. And I think it's better than nothing. And I'm sure very soon some video footage will surface. And when it happens, I'm going to make an analysis about the show. I'm going to tell you why he won, why Nathan won, and why the other guys took the places that they actually took. Maybe politics happened. Maybe Nathan didn't deserve to win it. Maybe he won it because Britain wants him to represent them at the Mr. Olympia. Maybe that's why he won it. But no, I don't think so. Based on these photos right here, which are not very high quality, to put it mildly, you can see that Nathan is dominating the stage. Maybe it's going to be different if I get some high quality video footage, which is not very likely to find some really high quality video footage. It's pretty much impossible. But what I find, I'll upload and make sure to stay tuned. So subscribe so you actually don't miss that video. Anyways, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, again, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.